Come on now, Professor. We know you're in there. Our boss needs that book of yours, and he needs it now. Hey, boss, I think they dozed off in there. How about you be a nice gentleman and give them the old wakey-wakey, yeah? <laughs> My pleasure. They're gone! Ain't gonna like this one bit. Gone! I talked to him an hour ago, and he swore they weren't going anywhere. Sir, don't worry. I think we got our lead. Well, go on. What is it? It's a knot, sir. Someone's trying to cycle around the words gas and charter. Gas and charter. What do I care about gas and charter? Just find out who has my book! Oh, and Bozzy. Kill them. Keto, what happened to the power? Oh man, Buana, we've been owned. Check this note out. Due to the failure of the customer's part to pay the fee of electrical coverage, Armando Power Core has hereby terminated the contract with this facility. Power will resume once the sum of four thousand dollars is submitted to your Armando Power Core account. Man. We're screwed now! Oh, man. How are we ever gonna repair them when our pumps are down? Yeah, selling gas is going to be a whole lot trickier without gas. Yeah, you said it, man. We haven't got a choice, have we? Nope. Let's take this into our own hands. I've always wanted to tear one of these open and meddle with its insides. The warning tape makes it look like a huge Christmas gift too. We'll have our power back and customers coming here in no time. Hey, <laughs> Buona, give me a hand with this. Oh, intriguing. Open the hatch, man. Or are you afraid? Ha! I'm afraid of no hatch. I can't move it. I can't. It's locked in place. I can't. It's locked. Hmm. I'm guessing these are the thingies that hold the hatch in place. Okay, let's open it up. Hey, it's a switch. I bet it's connected to all sorts of dangerous things. Let's mess with it, man. Hey, Kito. You sure about this? Tearing up Armando Power Core property might get us in trouble. 
far. Don't worry, man. They'll never find out. Hey, Keto. Tearing up our far. You sure this is a good idea, man? <laughs> nope. Me neither. Let's do it. You read my mind, man. Here goes. Uh... What was that sound? Oops! That's more like it! Good job, man! Thanks, man! Let's go, Mandy Pumps! Welcome to Buenos Gas and Chata, ma'am. Hi, I... Just a moment while I get the pump going. No, that's all right. I'm not here for... Hey! Wait a minute, lady. Where's your boat? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not here for gas. I took a taxi. My name is Lena. I come from the university. I'm looking for a very special old book. A book? <laughs> Listen, lady. This is a gas station. We don't sell no books. Actually... For you, lady, we just started selling them. What you talking about, Buana? We ain't got no books. Sure we do. Remember Count Andoro's old laugh? It's full of old books. They don't do us any good up there. You got a point, man. Anything to clear that debt. Great. Where can I find them? Right this way, lady. Oh, man. I knew I had forgotten something. What? What's wrong? We used the ladder steps as firewood the other day. For some reason, at the time, it felt like a smart thing to do. Now, I wonder. Looks like we're gonna have to find some new steps for the ladder. You stay put while I figure something out. Okay, I'll wait right here, Mr. Buona. Nice fun! Hmm, sorta of resembles a propeller, doesn't it? Nice fun! Hmm. I can look at pictures later. We gotta fix the ladder now. I can look at... We got... That's my pilot certificate. Count Anduru gave it to me a couple days before he disappeared. It's a bunch of folders we made to lively up our business. Never mind the suspiciously low price. Cow Nandodo's gas and charter covers all of your fuel and transport needs. No questions asked. Call 99450 and we'll make an offer you may not refuse. It's a bunch of fault. Never mind. Cow Nan. Call 99450 and we'll make an offer you. Hey, miss. Call me Lena. Okay, then. Hey, Lena. Hey, yourself, Buana. How's it going with the ladder? You find a way to fix it yet? Um, nope, not yet. But don't worry, Buana's on the case. Oh, I'd love a nap, but I'm not quite sure Lena would approve right now. Oh, I... Cheese! How I love cheese! I better grab this last piece before Keto finds it. Nah, I already got the... Trust me, it was the only thing worth picking from the fridge. Hey! I found breadsticks! I love breadsticks! Holy mother of monkeys! These breadsticks are stale! These breadsticks are way beyond eaten. I bet we can find another way to put them to good use. You never know what a slice of cheese will come in handy. All that's in here is a bunch of boring letters from the power company. I quote, Dear customer, your power provider, Johnson Electric, has been purchased by Armando Electric, who hereby takes over your current power plan and contract. 
Contrary to your previous power supplier, we demand payment to be made regularly and on time. Those cold-hearted bastards! Johnson Electric always cut us slack when times were rough. Power to your facility will be cut within a month unless your balance with us is zeroed. I was kind of hoping they were just bluffing, so I sort of forgot about all these letters. Oops. There's nothing left of interest there, man. I can look at pictures later. We gotta fix the lot. It's my favorite mug. It's got a dried out slice of lemon stuck at the bottom of it. Nice. But it's not something I feel like carrying around for no good reason. Man, the service in this place is terrible. Kito is busy though. I don't blame him for not answering. These breadsticks, I bet. These breadsticks, I bet. The steps are missing. No way I can climb it. This might be dumb enough to work. Man, they fit perfectly. Let's hope they don't snap when we climb them. After you, lady. Man, I haven't been here since I was a little kid. It's just the way I remember it. The only thing missing is that fool of a father of mine, Count and Dodo. Missing? Where'd he go? We've no idea. He just disappeared one day when we were kids, and we ain't heard from him ever since. But we've done just fine without him here. Aside from some slight financial instability, we've done fine. You find what you're looking for, lady? I wanna get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, sorry, no, I can't seem to find the book I'm looking for. Could you help me find it, perhaps? It's supposed to be leather-bound and have a big swirly symbol on its front. Sure, no problem. I bet it's in this mess somewhere. I ain't leaving without finding the book for Lena. No book means no money. No, it's not in this pile. Only old children's books there. I remember lying in this bed having stories read to us. We had some good times before he dumped us here on our own. That's for sure. I don't remember the bed being so darn stiff though. Wait a minute. There's something. Hey, lady. I think I might have found your book. You found it? Amazing! What's so special about this old thing? It's the journal of the journey down. The what? It's a collection of scribbles and notes on how to reach the Underland. The Underland? Isn't that sort of illegal? Yes, so much as touching the Underland literature is illegal. I spend all my time looking for it. You spend all your time looking for illegal literature. What for? Aren't you afraid of getting caught? Oh, they haven't caught me so far. Well, who's after you? You know of the Armando Company, I take it. Sure, everybody knows of them. We recently became customers. You together with the rest of St. Armando, I have reason to believe there's something fishy going on in the city. And someone is covering it all up. And somehow, I'm certain this book is the key to understanding the whole puzzle. I need to call the university immediately to confirm this find. Here you go, lady. I'm sorry, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, man. I bet the switchboard reset itself when we lost the power. Give me a second. I'll have it fixed. Yeah, looks like we're gonna need to re-enter the phone number of this place. It would have been a piece of cake if it weren't for the fact that I forgot it. I can't move it. Ah, 
I can't. Full of dried pressed herbs. I don't need that. It's full of dried. I don't need. It's full to the brim with moth eaten clothes. Yuck! Hey, here's a shirt that stayed more or less intact. Looks like it fits me too. I'll keep it. There's nothing left. Lots of old books on language and mythology. No need for. It's a picture of me and Kaunan Dodo back when he was around. <laughs> I remember it as if it was yesterday. Old Kaunan Dodo didn't care how scared I was. I was going to learn how to fly that plane. No matter what. It's a picture of. <laughs> old Kaunan. Time for sleep. Nice candles. We used to have them lit all the time back in the day when Cow Nandodo was around. Nice. We used to when. It's full of dry. I don't need. It's an old moth eaten shirt. I gotta fix the phone first, man. I'm sure I got the number written down here somewhere. That's my pile. Count and do. It's a bunch of folders we made to lively up our business. Never mind, this is Count and Dodo's. Call 99450 and we Hey, that's the number right there. 99 I knew painting these folders would pay off. Ah, that's it. Hello, Professor. This is Lena. Calm down, calm down. What's happened? Good God! Did they steal anything? No, that's all right now that we have the book. Don't worry, I know just the place to hide. This plane of yours, does it fly? Of course, lady. She's as good as new. Wanna air at your service. Great! Let's have a look at this, shall we? Here she is, a precious airplane. Come on in and check out the insides. What do you think, lady? A beauty, isn't she? Yes, yes, it's very uh, charming. But can you get her airborne? Airborne? Are you crazy, lady? This plane hasn't flown for decades. One moment, please. 
You got to help me out here. We need this money so bad and you know it. One flight and our debt to the power company will be long gone. You think you can get her running? I have no idea. Do you still think you can fly her? Hey, there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> I guess you're right, Buana. Let's give it a shot. That's the spirit. Of course we can get her airborne. Great. That's what I wanted to hear. Just give us a couple minutes to do some tiny touch-ups and then we'll be on our way. A couple of minutes? Tiny touch-ups? Yeah. What's the big deal, man? What are we missing? Well, for starters, we have no engines. Oh. And we're missing a propeller, too. Also, we're gonna need something to steer with. No worries, man. You get started while I go find the missing junk, okay? Okay, mon. Good luck part hunting. A pair of engines, a propeller, and something to steer with. Shouldn't be too hard to come by. That's Saint Armando. They say that city has its own soul. That's... This. It says, Honk for service. Recently, we haven't been getting a lot of honks, though. That's our trusty old pump. No use for it right now, though. Pointless, yet satisfying. Point, yet sa It's a fishing float. Someone over at the diner must be fishing. I've heard this is the best fishing spot in the bay. I got no chance catching him. He's way too fast for me. I know he'd love the cheese, but what a waste to just simply give it to him. I couldn't catch him with this. He's too quick. I'll have to lure him away instead. Don't mess with the cheese, man. Don't mess with... That don't need to be... Hmm, maybe I can get the rat interested this way. But what's the point? Hmm, maybe... What good will that do? That's Mama Makina's diner. She cooks the best Maria glass stew in all of St. Armando. <laughs> We're so cheap we can't even spell it right. Most of Kingsport Bay is desolate at this hour. Even the mighty shipyard slumbers. Most of Kingsport Bay is desolate. Even... I've heard this is the best fishing spot in the... an old bucket of white paint. I don't need that. Hey, we got power now. Oh, there, you salty sea dog. Key, kid. You can relax with the salty sea lingo on us. We are sophisticated sailors, we! Sophisticated! That's what I always said! Never mind him. He's had a few too many. So what's on your mind, kid? You didn't bother a hungry sailor in the middle of his meal without a real good reason, did you? 
course not, man. I just had a couple of questions. Shoot! What ship are you on? We're on the fine vessel, MS Corollo. Oh, she's in port over the night for repairs. Caught some bad wind on the last run. But she'll be fine again by tomorrow, and then we set sail again. Sails? Figure a speech, lad. We can set engine if you prefer it. How's the stew tonight? Oh, it's off the charts, kid. Ain't nothing like a fine stew to warm a sailor's cold bones after a long trip. Woo! It's crazy spicy, though. These chilies are killing me! Chilies? You don't like them? I love chilies. Hey, you can have them, kid. Woo, go ahead. Thanks, man. <laughs> Be careful with those. They can knock an elephant out stone cold. What are you bound for? We'll be heading for Port Archie first thing in the morning. Tis a long, eerie voyage along the eastbound edge to get there, so the whole crew's mighty spooked about it. It's not so good <laughs> about it. What's so eerie about the edge, man? It's scary, man. <laughs> You've no idea of the spooky things that we've seen deep down in the mist. Tell me what you've seen down there. No way, man. I don't want to talk about it. I think you better give my companion here a break. He's been shaking crazy since our last trip. Poor man deserves some R&R &R without having to be reminded of all the scary things hiding in the depths of the mist. I thought going near the edge was illegal. Oh, commercial vessels with the right contacts and permits can coast along it. But if the powers that be catch anyone so much as glancing over the edge, it's hell to pay. Yeah, whatever's down there, you don't want to mess with it. He may be a bit on the fluff rooney but those words are wise. Stay clear of the edge if you value your life, kid. What ship? We're on the fu- Oh, she's in port. Caught some bad- But she'll be fine again by tomorrow. Sail. Figure us. We can set engine if you prefer it. What are you bound for? We'll be heading for Port Archie first thing in the morning. Tis a long, eerie voyage along the eastbound edge to get so the whole crew's might. It's not so- What's- It's- <laughs> You've- Come on. I can tell you this much, kid. They're not all just imaginary tales. Let's not talk about it. I have nightmares. I told Oh, but if the- It's- Yeah. He may- Never mind, man. No worries, kid. Hey, puppy. Yikes! That silly old dog's always blocking that door. A couple red hot chilies. Don't mess with a cheese man. I'm not wasting my. Fat chance, born a fool. Them seats are for paying customers only. Ah, you cruel woman. Mama Makina's Diner, a shining beacon of hope for any hungry sailor. A shining beacon of bacon, I'd say. Really, man? That's a very nice compliment. Hola, Makina! What's up, Buona? What brings you to my fine kitchen? I'm here for the sweet company. <laughs> sure, Buona. If you say so. I wanna enter, but silly Rufus won't let me in. Rufus ain't silly, and if he don't let you in, you don't belong here. 
That's just cold. Free food, please. <laughs> In your sweet Buani's dreams, Buana. How's this? Too expensive for you, that's how it is. Oh, that burns, lady. Talk to you later, Makina. You take care of yourself, Buana. Hey, Matoki, can I grab one of your mud jugglers? Oh, sorry, Buana. I'd love to share, but me and Makina have this deal, you know. If she catches me handing out her jugglers for free, there's going to be hell to pay. You're going to have to get your own. Hey, Matoki. Oh, sorry. I'd love if she catches me. There's... You're gonna have... Hey, Matoki. How you doing, man? Hi there, Buona. I got all I ever wish from life here. Good cooking and a proper fishing spot. What a beautiful evening. Not a rat in sight. Rat? Oh, yes, I'm terrified of rats, lad. That's why I be resting me limbs here, you know. They just can't get to me no matter how much they skip about. That's mighty clever, man. Say, that's a nice fishing pole you got there. Yep, trusty as heck. Caught me a 12-pound mud juggler the other day. Wow! Wow, indeed. I'm quite proud. A mud juggler? Come on, Buana. You know it's basically the only thing we catch here in Kingsport Bay. Of course, there's tires and the odd rubber boot, but there ain't much eating on those. I wouldn't mind missing out on it anyhow. Oh, don't get too picky. McKenna once served my boots to a whole crew of sailors, and they left port happy and dancing. A good chef and a fine spice can fix the foulest stew right up. Tell me more about muddy uglers. Sure. They're tricky buggers to pull up, but a fine treat for the tongue if tended to right. Mama Magena turns the foulest jugglers into gourmet magic. Tell me. Sure. They're tricky, but a fine. Mama Magena. That's a crazy. Hey, you're the one who asked. I ain't never hang around our docks no more. I'm telling you, man, the rats. I can't stand those foul creatures. They scare me right out of my pants. That's too bad, man. I liked having you around. Heck, this ain't far off. Besides, I've been around for a long time. Even the fish knew this was a bad spot. Yeah, you an old timer, man. How long have you been around King's Part Bay? Oh, long before you were born. Roughly 60 or 70 years, I think. Set me up quite the reputation here in Kingsport Bay, too. You have indeed. So you must know a lot about Kingsport Bay, then. Oh, don't get me started. I could go on forever about this place. But okay. Kingsport is one of seven bays that surrounds our gorgeous capital, St. Armando. Kingsport consists mainly of industrial cargo docks and random odd enterprises such as your charter and McKenna's Diner. I like it here since the area is so nice and calm, yet it has a great view of the city. So you must know my father well then. Oh yes, he was a fine friend till he disappeared. He loved me fish. Everybody loves your fish, Matoki. Tastiest muddy uglers in the bay. Sure are. Anyhow, I remember him well. And I do think of the captain now and then. Especially remember the flying lessons he gave you. Boy, you were proud. Of course I was proud, man. He taught me how to pilot this plane at the age of 12. And you haven't flown the plane since, you fool. No, not since he dumped us here. I'm afraid of heights, you know. Learn to fly at the age of 12 and afraid of heights? <laughs> Don't pull me tail. 
Talk to you later, Matoki. I gotta run. See you around, Buana. I ain't going anywhere. I never know. <laughs> if this works, it'll scare the bananas out of Matoki. He hates rats. Let's see if the rat catches the bait. Actually worked. I can't wait to see Matoki's reaction when he reels in a big juicy rat. <laughs> this is going to scare Matoki. It's an old. No additions. Nice fun! Hmm, if only I could get it down somehow so I could use it as a propeller! I can't reach it with that! Oh, I'd love a... Nice can we used to when come. That's the elevator to the railway station. It won't open without an Armando railway card. It's a card terminal for the elevator to the tram stop. Without an ARA or a maintenance card, I'm not going anywhere. This is the South Kingsport tram stop. This is where all the real cool cats get off. That's the... That's the Armando Railway. Hey, I found free stuff. It's shaped just like a hook. There's nothing left. That there's the MS Corolla. She's a cargo vessel. Say, are you the new deckhand? You ought to know to report in with me before boarding. I'm so deckhand, I got two of them. Good. Let's hear the password. Password? Hmm. Gee, I'm afraid I've forgotten it. Nice try, lad. Come back when you remember, and I'll let you aboard. Oh, again, it's boy. If you're a deckhand, I forgot the password. Sorry, without the password. Come on, just give me a hint, man. For sure I'll remember it then. <laughs> Sorry, son. No cheat. Tis a shame. I'm sure you'd make a fine sailor.
I wanna... Oh, sorry. I know what it's like when that sail and bone goes a-tingling, but it ain't that easy. Roster's full, I'm afraid. What I gotta do to get on board, then? Nobody's going board except the crew. And all the crew knows the password by heart. Come on, just whisper it in me ear, man. No one will notice. Nah, tis a sailor's secret and nothing for a land crab as yourself. See you later, man. Hey, me the four winds fill... Sorry, lad. Nobody's going bored except the crew. It's full of salt. I'm not lugging salt around for no apparent reason. That won't help. Man, that's one scary bird. Oh, there's something sparkly shining in that nest. That scrawny old forklift hasn't worked in years. That scrawny old forklift. Hey man, check your hook! Hey, I think you're right. I've got something on the line. Oh, oh no, it's a rat! Oh, Buana, could you please unratify my pole for me? I have a slight problem with rats. Sure, man. No problem. I'll get it back to you nice and pest-free. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Finally, the pole is mine. All mine. Oops. The rat ran off with the hook. Hey, Matoki, can I grab one? Oh, sir. I'd love... If she catches... There's going to... You're going to have to... Hey, sailors. Hey. I'm the new deckhand on the ship. But I forgot the password. Sorry, kid. I ain't falling for that one. You're no sailor. You ain't got the right clothes. Look at us. Proper sailor's clothes on us. Never mind. No worries. Hey, maybe I can convince them that I'm a sailor by showing them this shirt. I doubt they'll fall for it though. It's still missing those cheesy white stripes. We could decorate the shirt with some paint, but simply dipping it seems like a pretty clumsy way of doing so. I don't think so. I got a muddy ugly. Ooh, there's something special about sticking a cold, wet fish in your pocket. One soggy, wet fish in my pants is enough.
that won't help. Here, yeah, buddy. Sort of feels like a waste, doesn't it? Man, that's... I can't reach it from here, man. Hey, that might actually work. Let's give it a shot. That was easy. Let's see what this thing is connected to. Oh, I caught me a crab. I'm not putting a live crab in my pockets. I need something to carry it in. I'm not putting a live crab. I need something. I can't carry the. I can't carry. It says, Count and Dodo's Gas and Charter. It's named after me old man Count and Dodo. Unlike himself, the name stuck around. I got a m Ooh! There's something special about sticking a cold, wet fish in your pocket. <laughs> I'm not so sure Makina would approve of my cooking, but okay. Hmm, I bet it's a lot tastier now. Hey, there's still some left. Might come in handy. One soggy wet fish in my pants is enough, man. Hmm, looks like some slightly vital pieces missing here. That would be the yolk. What sort of pilot are you anyways? Yes, I knew that. Just checking. It doesn't fit in the hole. These two chairs used to be very comfy once upon a time, until the rodents ate all the juicy padding. That's my farm of cacti. Cacti rule. That's my farm of cacti. Cacti. I better not poke at these buttons. I don't even remember what half of them do. Hey, please, you can... How come you in such a hurry, lady? Well, I just talked to my professor over at the university. And let's just say he's made some enemies in the academic world recently that have made us a bit... nervous. Enemies? What kind of a professor is he? You haven't heard of Professor Steeplegenger Moorhead? Let me enlighten you. When I first started working for him, I was just as convinced as anyone else that he had a screw loose. What? He's nuts? Not exactly. You see, Moorhead was once a highly recognized scientist. A real big name in geology. But ever since he started lecturing about conspiracies and cover-ups, he completely lost all the credibility he had built up over the years. The only reason the university keeps him on the payroll is because there would be an outrage in the educated world if he was given the boot. Whether he's nuts or not, he deserves the position. Anyhow, having worked with him for a while, I started realizing that whether he was crazy or not, much of the research he set me on came up blank. Blank? Why? Not sure. I started getting really suspicious. Someone had been erasing their tracks very thoroughly. Whole records have disappeared from their libraries. Old newspaper prints have been removed. 
even old family photo albums I've looked up have been obviously edited and smeared. And no one except Moorhead is questioning this. The only lead I've found so far that hasn't been removed is this book of yours. I need to hide and make sense of it before this too is erased. That is why we are in a hurry to get the airplane going. How did you know to search for the book here? The professor received a letter about the book and he sent me to go look it up. I just figured it was sent by whoever lived here. So who's covering everything up? Well, many signs point toward Armando Electric. And the more I'm looking into it, it seems like the government is in on it as well. The government? Sure. Do you realize how many new laws have come into existence the last couple of years regarding the Underland? Obviously, someone wants to keep the people in the dark regarding what is really going on down there. What do you think they're hiding? I'm not sure. You remember how, when our generation were kids, we used to hear stories about the amazing Underland? Sure. My dad used to read us stories about it all the time. Same here. Now compare that to what it's like now. Ever since the Power Co. started their operations in the Underland, the stories have all twisted. Now all we hear about the Underland is how dangerous it is. And how incredibly illegal it is to so much as glance over the edge. Well, it probably is dangerous. You do realize those were just children's tales, right? Probably just written to protect us from the scariest stuff. Believe what you wish. What is fact and what is fiction isn't really relevant since both of them are being erased. Either way you look at it, something very fishy is going on, and I'm sure this book will shed some light on things. Tell me about- Professor Moorhead? Sure, he's a real nutcase according to most people. But I've started believing in his crazy conspiracy theories. Or maybe not so much believe in them as at least realize that there's something in them worth looking up. I'm his assistant at the Algibo University in St. Armando, by the way, if I didn't make that clear. So what was- I don't really know. All I know is that someone is hiding something very, very well, and the professor and me are hell-bent on finding out what is being covered up. We think it has something to do with the power company's recent projects in the Underland, but we aren't sure. I'll go hunt- Happy hunting! I- No wonder Keto smells like fish when he sleeps in this slimy thing. I'll borrow it, just in case I need to catch something. That's Keto with his beloved toolbox. Count and Dodo gave it to him back when we were kids. They've been inseparable ever since. That's Count and Dodo gave. I found this old bike once in the bay, and Keto hotted it up like crazy. I found this old... That's me and Keto on our Rasta bike. The front wheel couldn't touch the ground, so we had to get off and push it to change direction. What a lovely bike that was. Those are Keto's blueprints. They're all nonsense to me. Those are... They're all nonsense. We don't need to raise anchor now. We don't need. That's my fa cacti. Yo, Mo. How's it going? I'm working hard here. This year, airplane hasn't been airborne since Corner Dodo was around. The poor thing is falling to pieces. You'll fix it. I'm sure, Mon. Mon. Oh, b we missing a. For starters, also both the yoke and one of the propeller. See you later. Keep it up.
I can't reach it with that. I can't reach it. Man, I wonder where I get all these stupid ideas. Oh man, it must have snapped when I landed. I guess we're gonna have to find some way to put it back together. That needs no right. It's empty. It's my favorite. It's got a dried out slice of lemon stuck at the bottom of it. Nice. But it's not something I feel. That won't help. Won't work, man. In you go, little happy claws. The cage is empty. I already took the... This ought to be interesting. Let's see how Birdie likes some spice. That's not really what I thought was going to happen. How sweet, man. It's peacefully asleep. How sweet. It's pe Oh, there's something. That scrawny old forklift hasn't worked. That won't help. Oh, how It's pe Let's not mess with Mr. Won't work, man. It's full of salt. I'm not lugging salt around. Don't think that'll do any good. It's rusted stuck. I can't so much as nudge it with my bare hands. Maybe this will do the trick. There we go, man. Hey, there's a metal rod in here. I'll take it. I'm sure Mr. Sleepy Bird won't mind. How sweet. It's peace. I already plundered it, man. I think I'll keep it lowered. It's just a large chunk of metal. enough fun throwing muddy uglers around, I think. That don't need to be... That don't... That don't... That don't need to be oiled. I don't want to mess with our precious... What if I break it? Thank you. 
fits perfectly. Buana, are you sure you know what you're doing? Hey, I know my avian occasions. It's gonna work like crazy, I swear. It's a start. Still need something to steer with, though. It's a start. I can't steer with... Hey Rufus, I brought you a friend. I bet you'll get along nicely with his big sharp pincers. <laughs> Nothing makes a mammal run to the hills like a nice pair of sharp claws. Greetings Rasta woman. Hey, how you get past Rufus? Um... I gave him a treat. We're friends now. <laughs> he likes to fleece in his fur more than he likes you, Buona. I don't believe you for a second. Looks like Makina's out of coffee. Yeah, I'll put some more on if a customer asks for it. What if I ask for it? Nice try, Buona. Can I take some? Keep your greasy paws off, Mr. Man. It says Rufus. Hey, wait a minute, lady. I thought that was a dishwasher, not no doghouse. Relax, man. Rufus does fine. Shut your hole. And, uh, don't tell my customers, okay? It says, hey, I don't know. And don't. Ooh, free money. Buona, don't you dare touch my life savings. I be saving them up for something real special. Oh man, I was hoping for some free money. In no such thing, Buona. Sorry. I better not mess with us. Nah, it's me wrench, man. Me ain't never giving that away. I don't think she'll appreciate my precious papella the way I do. Makina can make her own ingredients. I think I'll keep it. Hola, Makina. Hey, dear Buona. What brings you to my fine kitchen? How's the too expensive for you? Oh. How's b ha. Since when you interested in b You run that charter of yours like a donkey flies a kite. Oh, insulting me, eh? As a matter of fact, I have a big, big client on the hook this very moment. Gonna make some big money charter in the plane. Money you owe the power company, is that right? Kito tell you that? Yep. He said you two were in a bit of a tight spot. No worries, lady. We got it covered. I hope so, Buona. If you get that old plane of yours airborne, it will be a miracle. Be careful, okay? What you saving for? I telling you, Buona man. One day, I'm opening up big time in the city. What? You don't like it here in the bay? I like it, Buona, but I want to make it big. Besides, how's my gourmet cooking ever gonna come to rights when the only people I'm serving is drunken sailors? Ah, you got a point there, Rasta woman. Later. See you around. Makina? Yeah, man? Can I borrow this wheel of yours? Sure, man. Let me guess. You're somehow gonna fix your airplane with it. Good call. Wise minds think alike.
You're hanging in there okay without your rod. I'll survive a couple of minutes without it, I think. I'd like to hold on to it a little longer. Hey, sir. Hey. Never mind. No work. Oh boy, this is gonna be sweet! You're certain that's going to work now, Buana? Sure thing, lady. No worries. Steering wheel, check. Hey, I fixed us a yoke, man. Ho ho ho! Good on ya, Buana! I have no idea how to mount it. I better let Kito handle that part. He's the mechanic. Hey, buddy. Any chance we can use this? Looks like a great propeller, Buana. But we can't have it snapped in two. Maybe you can find some way to put it back together, eh? Sure, man. I'll go... It's a patron of a father, Captain Kaun and Dodo. He adopted me and Kito off the streets when we were scumbag kids. We miss you, man. Where did you go? We miss you. Where did Me and Kito got this huge muddy ugly once when we were kids. Boy, we were proud. That is one big juicy muddy ugly. I haven't heard of anybody pulling up a bigger one than this. Besides Matoki, of course. But that doesn't really count. He spends all his time fishing. Kito loves rubbing this picture in my face because of the silly haircut I had back then. I tried teasing him that he's gotten fat since this was taken, but it doesn't work. He just sees it as an improvement. That's Kito, my mechanic and very best. We grew up here together. That is why Evan. Besides, but that is spent. Oh. It's a bunch of fun. Never mind. Cow Nandodos. Cow na Lots of no need. Pale as a bone it is. Nice cat. We used to have when cow now. So that's where we hit our paintbrush. Let's dip it white. There we go, man. That should stick nice to the insides of my pockets. Hey, now it looks just like one of those nerdy sailor suits. What do you think about this man? So you are the new deckhand after all. I sure am. Well, I'm glad to be of help, sailor. The password to get on board is Fear the Hungries. I know what it's like to forget the password. 
has happened to me and me mate more than once, I can tell you. Good thing you'll have shipmates who can fill you in when you're on the fluff. Good thing, man. See you. Uh... Again. It's boarding time for this. If you're a deckhand, I'll need the. I finally remembered the password. Okay, let's hear it, lad. Fear the hungries. I knew you had it in you, son. Could see it in your eye, I could. Got the spirit of an adventure and sailor you have. Welcome aboard, lad. Oh. And let me see your sailor's outfit. Yeah, man. Oh, boy. This needs some fixing up, I fear. I'll see what I can do with it. Meanwhile, here's a mop to get you started. No reason to keep the deck unwashed simply because it isn't being used. Gee, thanks. Where's the ship heading? We'll be doing another run down through the mist to Port Artu, picking up a nice new load of eel again. Eel? Sure. The eels of the mist be more or less the only thing St. Armando imports from Port Artu. They ain't got much else, son, I can tell you that. You know anything about the Underland? The Underland? Kid, you gotta be careful even mentioning its name. Ask too many questions, and you disappear. Come on, man. What's the big deal? Why is everyone so afraid of the Underland? I wouldn't know, son. Our ship never goes further down than Port Artu. And the things you find down there are creepy enough as it is. Tell me about Port Achu. A dark and dreary place it is, always shrouded in mist. A real thick cold mist it is too. Go straight to your bones it does. If you ever set foot down there, be sure to stay on the lookout. Things aren't always what they seem down in the mist. See you later, man. Hi, may the four winds fill your sail. Hey, that yacht has got to have a nice pair of engines we can borrow. If only I could find a way to get out there. All these warning signs tell me I just have to mess with this thing. Whatever it is. Ah! Oh, that was Bomba! <laughs> She's all dazed from the flash. I can't so much as nudge it with my bare hands. Hmm. What good what will that happened? do, man? <laughs> what the... Kid, what are you up to? I, um... Haven't you got anything better to do than making my life miserable? Hey, mister! Who are you calling mister? Beat it, kid. I'm busy and in a hurry. messing with my ah! <laughs> yeah, 
I just can't get enough of it. What good will that do, man? Hmm. Hmm. That won't help. Won't work. What just happened? Listen, I told you to stop messing with the plates. Haven't you got anything better to do than making my life miserable? That's a good idea, man. But I need some. What just happened? Hey, you tricked me into welding this thing, didn't you? What? Who? Me? Yeah, you. I'll just take the damn thing and let me get back to work, okay? Um... Beat it, kid. I'm busy and in a... I think these switches control the crane. Maybe I can make it a line over the pool in the boat. That way, getting over to the yacht will be a piece of cake, man. Oops, too far. Hmm, tricky. I think there's some form of system to this. These buttons make no sense! Ah! I hate puzzles! I hate puzzles! Screw this, man! There we go, man! Little bit of love and violence did the trick. Looks like it's perfectly aligned over the pool. Needs no more picking. Let's invade that boat. I'm going with my eyes closed though. I'm fine with heights as long as I don't see them. I think I'm over the pool now. I'd be more certain if I opened my eyes, but then I'd chicken out. Here goes! Oh man, that hurt! Uh oh. Well, can't say I landed where I thought I would. But hey, I'm on the boat! Let's go exploring! Hola, man! What do you want? Table for two, please! What? This deck is for VIP guests only. Crawl back down to the engine room or whichever filthy hole you came from. VIP, get low. Hola! What do you Nice ears! What? This deck is for... <laughs> My life is in ruins. 
My honor is forever lost. <laughs> Excuse me. Do enter Samus's kitchen! Yikes! What a hot head! Why you best of me? Oh, I was sure you were gonna do that knife thing again. Oh, sorry about that. It's a bad habit throwing knives when angry. This yogurt stew actually tastes like yogla. Makino would never let that happen. Madness! This yo Makino. What's the matter, man? Why this sad face? Ah, uh, it's this stew. I can't get it right. I'm a fairy as a chef. Oh, if I screw this two up, my honor will be forever tainted. I'll never find job in kitchen again. What you cooking? The captain's orders are to serve this crazy local specialty tonight. Yeah, no matter what I try, it just turns out rotten. Local specialty, eh? Let me guess. Maria Glass too? Yes. How'd you know? It smell right? <laughs> no, sorry. Yagla stew is notorious for being tricky, that's all. Oh, I'm lost. Ruined. There's no hope. I must focus. I must not give up. Hmm. You must not disturb me while I'm cooking. McCain over at the diner can help ya. I'm sure he's the best chef I know. Do not disturb me! That's not the way Makina would do it. That's not the way. That's not the way. I told you to not bother me. I am one with my cooking. I need to focus on getting... Uh-oh. It seems like the door's frozen stuck at the top. Uh-oh. Yup. It's stuck at the top again. Uh-oh. Yup. It's turned off. It's full of frozen sliced bread. I don't need that. Let's see what's in here. Pickled spoon beak, Gemini rhubarb, Lawrence's deep fried chocolates? What mad pile of monkeys filled this freezer anyways? I found a frozen piece of ginger in there. It's empty. It's turned off. Oh, a piece of gum. Hey, it's minty. My favorite taste. I'll keep it for later. This seems to be the power switch. It's full of frozen. I don't need that.
I think these switches regulate where the flow of air goes. Uh oh. Yup. This knob controls the temperature of the Frisco Freeze 2000. There, I've set it to hot. Uh oh. Yup. Uh oh. Yup. It's stuck at the top again. It's a map. No more, no less. That won't help. Seems to have thawed the ice on the door. Clean and crew here. Way. We can't have cleaning crew disturbing our guests at this time. Get lost, filthy man. I think I'll... I... Hola, man. What? I'd like to enter the lounge. What? Is this deck? I don't think that's going to... I don't... I'm getting... It's full up. I'm not lugging salt around. My talkies. Hey, buddy. See if you can figure out how to mount this baby. Ho, ho, ho. Good on ya, Buana. Let's see. This shouldn't be too tricky. Ta-da. Gorgeous. Well done, man. I'll go and get the rest of the parts. I don't want to pick at it. I don't want... That won't help. Hola, Makina. What's up, Buona? What brings you to my fine kitchen? What's your trick, Makina? Why is your stool so good? That's no secret, Buona. I use my own magic spice mix. Just cook her up as any other stew, and then add the spice at the end. What's in the spice mix that makes it so special? That, Buona, is my own secret. But I tell you what, 
I'm all out of spice, and I haven't got the ingredients here. If you help me mix up a new jar of it, I'll let you in on the recipe. Sounds like we have a deal, lady. Hmm. Salt, oil, ginger, chili, lemon, and chervil. What the heck is chervil? It's an herb. Good luck finding it. No worries, Makina. I'll have this mixed up for you in no time. Doctor, you take care of yourself. I'm still missing some ingredients, man. It's a recipe for Makina's magic yogla spice mix. We're still missing some. A twist of fresh spring lemon, a teaspoon of fine salt, a couple red hot chilies, one pinch of finely chopped ginger, one cup extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of fresh chervil. I'm not wasting spice randomly, man. I'll just press this whole lump of ginger in here. I'm not wasted. In you go, little chilies. Slimy old piece of lemon at the bottom of the mug is just what I need for the spice recipe. I'll stick it in with the mix. Recycling stuff rocks. It's a recipe for Makina. We're still missing so a teaspoon of fine salt, one cup extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of fresh chervil. Nah, I already got the cheese. Trust me. This isn't exactly extra virgin oil, more like extra tainted filthy oil, but I'm sure no one will know the difference. There we go, oil added. That no use for it. Hey, nobody mess. Not even. She don't need no spa. She needs a cool down. I doubt she's interested. Please. I'll go. Happy. This salt will be great for a spice mix. I'll grab some and put it in a mix. It's a recipe for my... We're still missing some... Two tablespoons of fresh chervil. My turkey's... Here's a book on herbs. Maybe there's something about chervil in here. Hey, look what I found. It's full of dried pressed herbs. Here's some chervil. I'll grab it and stick it in the spice mix. Hey, 
This means the spice is finally finished. I can't wait to see if it works. This other spice things up. What are you, mad? I chop you to small pieces! Man, chill with the knife. Try the stool. I'm sure it's better. This crazy foreign spice. It is giving me a tingling sensation. It's delicious. My honor is saved! Man, you're freaking me out with that knife. Oh, sorry. Finally, I can get out with the canapes. The guests must be starving. Uh-oh. I think baby bread was in oven too long. I must have toast for canapes. Relax, man. I'll hook you up with some toast. That would be much appreciated. I do mix for canapes now. Thank you for your help, friend. Hey, here's some sliced bread. If only I can find a way to toast it. It would be exactly what Sabo needs for his canapes. Let's see what's... Pickled Spook Gemini. Lawrence is... What mad pile of monkey... I can't reach it from here, man. Hey, I found you some frozen bread for the canapes, man. Donkey! Oven is ruined after burnt bread. I need it toasted. <laughs> 